What's up, Star Wars fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, back with another action figure review. This time, I'll be looking at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Battlefront 2 figure of Darth Maul. Let's have a look at the packaging. We see the Gaming Greats sticker on the front, and this is plastic-free packaging. We get a product shot of the figure on this side, and we get some really cool artwork of Darth Maul on the opposite side. The top is solid black. There's product information on the bottom. And on the back, we get another product shot of the figure, as well as a brief biography of Darth Maul. The biography is printed in five different languages. If you would like to read any of these, just hit pause and do so now. This is a windowless design, which means that collectors are unlikely to leave this figure mint in box. However, I do appreciate the sleek design of this Star Wars Black Series packaging. And with no further ado, let's bust open this package and see what's inside. The figure comes with a single accessory that is broken down into three parts. Here's a closer look at the hilt of the lightsaber and the blades fit into the ends of this piece. I really like the look of the translucent plastic that has been used for the blades. Be careful when assembling this piece as these tabs on the ends of the blades are very small and appear to be fragile. And here's a look at Darth Maul's trademark double bladed lightsaber. And here we see Darth Maul free of the package and ready to rumble. This figure is just as advertised. There's very little to dislike here if you're a fan of Star Wars. However, this figure does have a couple of minor issues, so let's take a closer look at the loose details now. Let's have a look at the lower body now. And of course, these are the cybernetic legs, and Hasbro did a great job at differentiating the parts that represent metal versus the parts that represent fabric. There are many wrinkles sculpted into the clothing, as you can see here, and that attention to detail goes all the way around. I also like this hip piece. It aids the articulation. However, I do have one minor issue in that I have to have the figure's knees bent slightly for the figure to stay balanced. Here's a look at the torso, and it features more excellent sculpting work by Hasbro. The attire on the torso is solid black. Remember, this is the Battlefront 2 appearance. That's why we get the exposed arms as well. And from what I've seen, this is very accurate to the game. Here's a closer look at the arms, and this red and black color scheme is very eye-catching. The musculature is accurate, and the paint applications are very precise. Perhaps the biggest strength of this figure is the head sculpt. It is outstanding. The expression on the face is ominous, and the paint applications are very precise. The bony protrusions coming from the skull look very sharp and threatening. This is exactly the kind of evil vibe that a collector wants from a Darth Maul figure. As far as articulation goes, the feet move backward and forward at the ankle joint. There's also pivoting, and that will give you posing options. They're swiveling at the knee. You can also bend the knee to this degree and get the figure into a very deep running pose, so I appreciate that. There's also a quadricep swivel on each of the legs, and I appreciate that as well. You can get this figure into a very high front kicking pose and the legs separate into nearly a full split. And the figure does step back as well. Perhaps there could be a little bit more there, but I'm satisfied with what we got. 
There's rotation at the waist and a swiveling of the upper torso. In terms of the arms, there's rotation at the wrists, and this will allow you plenty of posing options with the lightsaber. The elbows bend to this degree, and they also swivel from side to side. These shoulder pieces on the attire hinder the arm articulation just a little. You can raise the arms up from the body this much, but they go no further. However, you can do a 360 with the arms at the shoulder joints. The head moves freely from side to side. The figure can look up this much, he can look down this much, and there is plenty of head tilting. If you're a collector who likes to do stop motion or you like to dynamically pose your figures on your shelves, you should be very happy with this figure's articulation. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this review, and please, tell all of your friends about this channel. I would certainly appreciate it. And I'll be back with more Star Wars content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.